my channel thank you for joining me today uh, today i'm going to make another card using another one of my dies that i've bought from china and today i'm going to use this one which is a um, little eiffel tower die that you can see that if it's in focus there and this was one pound eleven pence so let's get started so first of all i've got just a plain six by six white card and i've started with a piece of this sort of beige creamy coloured paper and it's from a paper card called Vintage Feelings and it's Craft Sensations and I bought this one from the range but it's a nice pad it's got quite a few nice patterns in so first of all what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, put this piece on top of the blank card now as I've said earlier in previous videos I'm not really a measurer to be honest I just cut things um, when I'm massing and layering I just try and do so there's a nice even space around all four sides normally a quarter of an inch that I try and leave um, but I'm not particularly fussy I'm not um, like I said I don't sit measuring for ages so I'll just take this off um, and I'm awful sorry if you can hear any dogs barking in the background we're doggy minding for a week my mum and dad have gone away so we've been lumbered with two little westies for the week and they like a lot of attention <laughs> so i apologize if there's any background noise i've also had to shut the window because the back garden is full of all the kids from the street playing with my children so there we go i've just matted the blank card with that next what i've done is i've used some craft card um and i've just cut a circle uh, sorry a square i'm not sure what it measures i've just cut it by eye again and I've put another piece of paper to put to mat on top of that and that's a blue colour and yet again that's from this um, paper pad and it's called Happy Spring Craft Sensations and that was also from the range. Those pads, both of them were a pound each. So I'm going to layer this pattern piece onto this piece of craft card. You can probably hear the children laughing now, can't you, in the garden. I can hear them. I've asked them to be quiet but... You might as well talk to yourself. So, right, so we've got this piece on here, and it's just got a bit of a script writing on there. So, that's that one. So, I've laid the base card and I've cut a mat and layered that craft card with the blue. And what I'm going to do now is um, I've got these little envelopes, I bought, I ordered these from. I um, can't remember website on eBay they're just little tiny envelopes and what I've done is I've used this script stamp and I've just tight, uh, stamped all over it and I've used the Memento Desert Sand um, ink to do that with so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that just sort of I'm going to stick this one on at sort of an angle there on the card first so I'll do that bit first And this die that I've bought, it, it cut first time, no problem whatsoever. I went straight through the little die cutting machine and it was no messing about at all. And like I said in previous video, touch wood up to now, I haven't had any dies that won't cut. Um, and I'm not sure how long they're going to last. Hopefully they'll last a while, but who knows for the price that I've been paying for them. But we'll see anyway. So I've laid that on top of the base card. And what I'm going to do now is, first of all, I'm going to, I've cut another mat from a piece of craft card and then use that uh, beige coloured paper again. And what I've done is I've distressed the edges on this piece of paper. Um, I have got this little perforator tool here, but to be quite honest with you, I prefer to use my scissors. So I've done all four, well I've done three sides, I've just left the bottom, I'm sure everybody knows how to do this but just in case there's anybody that doesn't just get your scissors along the end and just just rub them gently it depends if i've got a few cuts in mine and i did that purpose few rips rather i did that purposely and what i'm going to do with this is i've got this little wooden stamp little border stamp and i'm going to stamp around the outside of this This pattern paper just to give a little bit more interest to the card I'm not being fussy I'm not just doing it all by 
I am not even going to going to do I've been actually sorting through all my stamps and it's, it's unbelievable the amount of stamps that I've got and they've never ever been used I'm going to second generate some of the stamping right that will do so Put it back on the ink. So I've just stamped over there, just a little border stamp, just to put a little bit of a pattern on it. You can see that there. Right, and I'm going to layer that onto this piece of craft card that I've cut. And then we'll pop that on top of the craft card. Sorry, nearly stuck that down the wrong way. Right, there we go. So that's stuck on there. And then I'm going to I'm going to raise this. I'm going to use um, some, in fact I'll use some phone cards because I've got them at hand. Just pop a couple on. tidy up this morning I came in at lunchtime and couldn't even see the desk at the show store it was just a mess so I spent the last few hours tidying up and to go and be making the mess again so I've stuck that one on top of there but you can see that there and then this little envelope that I stamped before I'm just going to sort of put that in fact and now I should have done that underneath let me see if I can Peel that up a little bit. And I should be able to do that. I'll just put a few sticky pads on there just to keep it down. And hopefully I'll be able to just put it on first. I never thought to be honest, but see if I can rectify the mistake. Right, it's going to there. No, right. Okay then, we'll go for the second option and we'll put it on top. So the little envelope there as well and then i have put there's the die cut of the eiffel tower itself i've just used some gold card and it cut great like i said first time no messing about whatsoever um so i'm going to use some glue and i've got some cosmic shimmer just in this little decanted into this little bottle and it's got the fine nib because this is quite a little intricate die this one so be glue everywhere if I tried to do it any other way and I'm going to stick the Eiffel Tower just there in the middle like that I hope you can see that yeah I don't know if there's a little bit of a glare on the camera but hopefully not and then what I'm going to do next is I am going to I'll cut this little bow I'm going to put this on the side here I've got the hot glue gun on ready so I'm just going to pop this on down the side here and the hot glue gun wants to work. Just pop that little ribbon there. And then I've got some little flowers. I'm going to stick on at the top. These are just out of my stash, just little tiny flower goat flowers with a little bit of gold on. Sort it finish the card off. One down the bottom. I love flowers, but the only thing with flowers is sometimes if you're mailing the card, posting the card bit of a pain end up having to make it a little box for the card or a bigger envelope but this one isn't this is just for, for my stash this one so I've put the little ribbon on and I've put the flowers on down there so what I'm going to do next finally is I'm going to stamp my sentiment and I'm going to stamp it onto just a little piece of the card the paper that I've used earlier and I'm just going to do a happy birthday and I'm going to use this um Memento ink, desert sand. I'm just going to do a tone on tone stamping. Just think it'll look nice. Don't want anything to in, me, in your face with this. Going for the vintage look, and that's nice. It's just stamped on there. And I'm going to mount that on some little foam pads. So, just pop them. I've just cut a little piece of. Um, 
just a little piece of craft card just to, to mount it on there and then finally I'm going to stick that at the top of the card I would love to go to Paris it's a place I've never been to but I really would like to go right let's pop that on the top there right so there we go all the rubbish out the way there's the card finished i hope you like it and um, like i said it didn't take me too long um, and that was the die that was showcasing today the little eiffel tower die so i hope you've enjoyed it guys and thanks for joining me take care see you soon